Hello. I would just like to say that I'm so honored that I get to be a part of this Zoom news segment today. I never thought it could be possible for me to actually get to the news and the fact that I did something <laughs> for a good cause and it actually helped and impacted others. I still can't believe I ran a marathon in my mom's backyard. I'm Anna Harding, by the way. Sorry I didn't introduce myself. Instead of trying to look presentable, I'm going to wear what I wore that day when I ran the marathon and have this interview where the magic happened. As I try to scramble through my thoughts and memories, it was a pretty long run. Ten laps to go. I can't believe I ran over 1,960 laps in my mom's backyard. Oh no, I forgot to water her plants. How did I not notice that before? I was probably too busy worrying about looking up so I didn't have to get tired after 10 laps. All along, I thought, I have to think about the positive side of things because if this is actually successful, I could help people. How am I a 34 year old who still can't listen to what her mother says? <sighs> Ow, I just stepped on a rock. Mom told me to pick those up too. The World Health Organization for COVID-19 Solidarity Response Fund is counting on me. Okay, step number 10. I have to slow down again. I never thought this is how I'd be running a marathon, even two months ago. The thought of it is still crazy to me. This is the hardest marathon I've ever had to run, but I knew if I gave up, it would have all been for nothing. The only thing I could look at was that sweat from my forehead hitting my Apple Watch showing five hours and 37 minutes. <sighs> Hardly believing that I was almost done. I continue to think, oh, I know what I'll tell Good Morning America as soon as I hit my personal finish line of toilet paper. <laughs> that message of stay at home probably couldn't be any clearer than stay at home and run in your backyard. This isn't why I did this, but I can already picture all of the news headlines. Anna Harding runs marathon in her mom's backyard. So iconic, yet strange.